This is the video on when to stay out using technician software. Even with the abundance of technical tools available today, there are times when the answer to the buy or sell question is simply, I don't know. This could be the result of conflicting answers among indicators, it could be the result of a low confidence signal from a trading model. In either case, it is often better to stay out of the market and preserve capital for better trading opportunity in the future. Let's examine a few examples. Here we have a candle chart of Newmont Mining, and we can see it just broke through resistance in May 2015. It was a gap and strong volume. Normally that would be a great buy signal on several fronts, but on the day of the gap, or window in candlestick jargon, the stock closed below the middle of its range. This is indicated by a small body candle with a long upper shadow, or wick. Two days later, it looked as if the bulls had recovered as price closed near the high of its daily range. But two days of small candles and no further progress suggested something was not quite right. Indeed, Bollinger Bands showed a warning as price made a high above the bands in April and a higher high but back but within the bands in May. This is a sign of waning momentum. Traders who bought the gap had no profit, and just a few days later the stock scored a small gap down below former resistance. That should have been enough to tell traders to get out and take the small loss. Yet the market was not done with its confusing signals. The day of the gap down also left a hammer candle, and that's a bullish signal. But any, any bullishness it did suggest was erased a few days later with another series of small bodied candles. As we can see, the stock was about to crater. Sometimes the markets just jump around with any apparent rhyme or reason. They can exhibit trend line violations, false breakouts, and general erratic behavior. This chart shows social media information stock Angie's List between July 2014 and August 2015. As we can see, there are no trends and no discernible patterns. And given its low price, the percent change from the, from the beginning to the high was about 15 percent and back down to the low was nearly 45 percent and that is one volatile stock. Trying to put order on this chaos would have been impossible and you can see we have no trend lines or any markings on this chart at all. So traders operating in this time frame were fighting a losing battle no matter if they were bullish or bearish. To be sure pulling out to a weekly chart would have identified a rather large potential bottoming pattern but that would not have helped the trader make any decisions throughout the span of this chart. Therefore, sitting on the sidelines was the best plan. Forcing a market into a buy or sell mode is a mistake. The market will tell us what it wants to do. If we don't understand what that is, or if the market is telling us that it doesn't know either, the best trade is the one we actually do not make.